Hey everyone, it's Tom from Ludicrous Feed. Thank you so much for joining us. Today we're at the Smart Energy Expo here at the ICC International Convention Centre here in Sydney, Australia. Let's go inside and check it out. Okay, so these are all the exhibitors here at the Smart Energy 2023 Expo. That's the floor plan below right there. All right, let's walk in and take a look. Check out what they've got on offer today. Expecting a lot of solar panel companies and inverters, maybe some EVs, who knows, we shall see. There's BYD, with their blade battery. Not the cars, but uh, I guess, guess they're storage solutions. We might walk around the outside, and yeah, we'll work our way inside. I love a good expo, especially when it's my favorite topic, of course, renewables and EVs. Yeah, always a busy place, good place for trade. Lots of connections made. Definitely very industry focused. Let's walk through the middle here. A lot of brands to recognize, SMA up there. Do inverters, Red Earth, Energy Solutions. What do they do? Energy storage, yep. Yeah, this is definitely the future, isn't it? Energy storage. SMA EV charger. There we go. Some more inverters, like I said. Coffee shop. Large scale solar battery solutions. Everyone's getting in on it now. S5, the right way. Some smaller players here too, with smaller stands. Let's keep walking around this way. I see Fronius in the back there, also a big player. Go look at that in a second. Austroy Energy. Raise Tech. Of course, if you see your company here or the business you work for, make sure you comment. Pylon Tech. Catch Power, hot water. Solar hot water. Open Solar. Free of charge. Eco advantage. Good we. What do they do? Residential PV solutions. I wasn't wrong, right? Lots of inverters. Ooh, glass screen. Let's walk around this way. Smaller booths here. South Street Energy. More pylon tech. Big player right in the middle. And there's Grow What? Grow What? Global leading distributed energy solution provider. What they do? Oh, EV charges at the front here. Okay. Good. It's done to get integrated with uh, solutions for solar and battery. That's good. That is the future. Oh, Pylon Tech offering drinks and goodies. A little meeting room there. That's good. Yeah, that's Swoop around here, Alpha S. I'm just walking around by the way, just seeing what I can see. Race Tech. Some more storage. More smart energy. Some more panels, like I said. I guess we're getting more data these days, aren't we? Uh, more solar panels in the business, lasting longer. I guess the issue now is which provider to get to install your panels, right? Supply panels, that's a big issue. I get asked a lot, who do I go with? It is hard to know. Jinko, Clean Energy, EcoFlow. We've tested some of their batteries before, haven't we? This is OSW, One Simple Way, that's what it stands for. Ooh, show bags. Love a good show bag. <coughs> I guess they must supply panels, I suppose. Different panels there. EV charges again. Wall box. Seen those before, haven't we? Like I said, they're starting to be integrated, these EV chargers and solar and battery. All right, let's keep walking around this way. REC, some of these names we've seen before. Big screen here. So much money gets splashed out, doesn't it, on these expos? Truly amazing. 
AC solar warehouse, like supply panels, REC, Hyundai, Enphase. Amazing. So yeah, got suppliers and distributors too, all in one. Well, these guys here, SAJ. Another big stand here. <clears throat> Smart residential energy storage solutions. Again, a lot of EV charges. Battery storage, inverters. Dynas. Dynas. Ah, oh, there's EcoFlow. Yep, I've certainly tested those batteries before. Go. Power hub, batteries, smart extra battery. Lots of batteries. Well, that one's a little fan unit. Fold out solar, Ooh, powering kettles. Uh, more batteries. All right. Thank you, Mika. What's over here? Power plus energy. Another big provider. Okay, got stopped by a viewer, so very nice of them to say hello. Uh, but we'll keep going with some more storage solutions here. Uh, let's see, oh, Jinko, or Sonnen I can see in the background, I've heard of Sonnen too. Uh, Jinko, Solar, Jinko is one of the big players too. Tiger, Neo 2023. All right, let's keep going, yes, so Sonnen, they do batteries. Definitely do batteries. Been around in quite a long time now. And yeah, got a, quite a big stand. It's always interesting to see how they do these stands as well. Again, I love, I love expos. You get to see what, what is available, what's in the industry. It's good. And this one is Franklin. Franklin WH, more energy management and storage. Could be batteries there in the corner. Most likely, right? Uh, yeah, we've always oh, got a Fronius. We haven't done Fronius yet. Hopefully this footage is still enough for you guys, just using my smartphone to film. And yeah, BYD, oh sorry, BYD's on the corner there, so I saw BYD, but I actually had Fronius. Apologies, Fronius. Of course, Fronius do uh, inverters. And some, got some kind of game going here. Leaderboard. Fronius with the red. We've obviously uh, tested their Watch Pilot Go, so the portable EV charging, so yeah, thanks Fronius for lending us that. In fact, I can see it there behind these gentlemen. And yeah. Some more inverters there. More storage solutions. Electric mobility, again, great to see EV charging being integrated with these battery solutions. There's BYD. Let's see if I can sneak in there. I didn't see a uh, Ado 3 before. They're just here to chat, I guess. I see the blade battery in the corner there. We saw that earlier. All right, well, um, I'll just pause for a sec, see what else I can find as we go for a bit of a walk around here at the Smart Energy Council Expo. Okay, so just frame of reference here, next to Power Plus is uh, Enphase. Uh, Enphase, also a big player in microinverters. I'm a little bit surprised they're in the corner here, I must say. Uh, we've got Enphase microinverters at home, they work really well. And there's the IQ8 microinverter, which I think is grid, uh, grid agnostic. So you don't need to have the inverter running from the grid to be able to use solar for the home in a blackout situation. Uh, yeah, IQ battery 5P in my i8 micro inverters. Could be wrong, but that's what I've been reading anyway. So yeah, there you go. Uh, in phase, no kickbacks, just saying I love the product because I've got one at home. All right, let's uh, just turn around this way. I'm trying to move too much, guys. I know some people uh, have said they get a bit seasick with my walk around, so I'll try to be a bit slower. Green bot energy solutions. Looks like a smart solution, perhaps. Yep. And Goodwee, I think we've seen Goodwee already. And there's the entrance right there. Yeah, okay, battery box. That's BYD as well. All right, let's walk down this aisle here. And we'll go down the back. Okay, so we found another uh, player, Trina Solar. Definitely heard of them. One of the big players in the market. And I see Energizer in the back, got to see them. Sunways, Suntech. I guess natural Energizer would starting to play in this space too, given their batteries. 5B. All right, let's swing back this way. Again, sorry everyone, try and go slower. More solar solutions. Redback technology, three-phase hybrid system. Yeah, it's good to see a hybrid 
uh, yeah, hybrid three-phase batteries. That's something that we need more of in Australia because the Tesla Power 2 is not a true three-phase system. Here we go, they've got 9.6, 14.2, 19.2, 28.4, yeah. Do very nicely for some of us here in Australia. We need more storage. All right, let's swing around this way. Solar Plus, Kranich, Mobile Solar Distributor. What are these guys here? Uh, we've got Virgin Engines, Penske, oh yeah, Penske. They're big too, aren't they? All right. Let's go around the back here first and then we'll come back around to the side. But there I can see a theater set up there. Uh, for seminars and events and talks and things, I guess. Let's see what what is actually on. Who's speaking today? Okay, so that is the schedule at the moment. Lots of important people there, that's for sure. Great to see experts in the industry. Oh, I see a energizer battery. Uh, let's see what, get them to say hello for us on camera. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Keeps going and going, right? <laughs> Thanks, Energizer. <laughs> yep, awesome. They're doing solar too. There you go. I'm sure they're doing batteries as well. Ooh, I'm gonna try and get a freebie. I love freebies. Another reason why I love Expos. There you go, like a portable battery too. Portable battery. Ooh, EV chargers too, there you go. Energizer, EV chargers. And batteries. Cool. Changfeng, Shenzhen Cycling Group, Ho Energy, One Stop Green Energy Storage Solution Provider, batteries. I did say, guys, lots of batteries and things, right? The storage. Oh, Savage in the corner. Yeah, great to see them here. Hey, everyone, I'm with uh, Dennis from Savage Motorcycles, and Dennis is going to walk us through his beautiful bike behind. Thanks, Dennis. All right, so this is the Savage C Series. Um, this particular bike is our Alpha model. We've got two models, Alpha and Delta. The Alpha is more powerful and has more range, so it does 0 to 100 in 3.5 seconds, about 200 kilometers of range. Um, charge time of about five to six hours. Um, battery pack capacity of 16.2 kilowatt hours. 60 kilowatts of power at the motor with about 200 newton meters of torque uh, at the motor. Full Brembo brake system. Uh, we've got a Bosch ABS unit. Uh, we have custom developed our own front and rear suspension. 90-ish percent of the vehicle was actually developed by us in-house. So the instrument cluster, the battery pack, the motor, the rims, axles, even the axle nuts are all done by us in-house. Uh, we have just clocked 260 customer pre-orders, uh, so we've had awesome support from the Australian community. And um, yeah, that's, that's a very brief rundown of our bike. Yeah, cool. Um, where's the charge port, Dennis? The charge port's just in the side here. So it's a little bit incognito. Yeah. Oh, look at the logo. up like that. Nice. I love, love, love that it's solid like that. It's, yeah. I love that. Good this finish. is still a semi prototype -y. We're okay. still finalising the production version, but yeah. it's, it's compatible with, with all public car chargers and it's a just standard Type 2 connector. Nice. So, yeah. Beautiful. Thank you, Dennis. That's fantastic. Thanks for your time. Thank you for having me. Cheers. And there you go. Solar Sprint. Yeah, we've got the cafe in the back here. Heinen, Heinen probably do batteries as well. Yep, storage solutions. Let's keep going around here. Ooh, this one looks busy, it's a little mobile thing. Smart water, smart water, oh yeah, hot water. Okay. Well, Ecotech, zero emissions, maybe low on mowing? Maybe, yeah. Schletter, solar mounting group. Yeah, right. More solar? Yeah, lots of solar, right? Ooh, look at this, lots of solar here. Big solar panels in real life. Those are big, actually. Very big. I'm standing right next to it now at, uh, this is eye level for me, and it keeps going up. It's probably about, probably almost a foot off the ground. 
Okay, let's have a look on this side. Top band. What top band do you? Yep. You guessed it. PV, solar. All sorts of smart energy. And the back here, we've probably got another theater or sort of some sort of lecture hall. It's this. Okay, so if you're thinking of coming, if you're watching this tonight, day one, smart energy solutions. Day two is innovation, manufacturing, and workforce. Definitely very much industry geared. Let's see what's here. Oh, okay, so this is what is happening here. We've got some speakers. Some important people there, politicians. Chris Bowen, Zali Stegall, David Pocock. That's what's inside, what's happening. Uh, Canadian Solar, Com App, another cafe at the back. It's Canadian Solar Cafe. Wonder if the food's free. It's not free. <laughs> Price is there. Pixie. It's a bit dark in this corner. Pixie. Uh, Solin Teg. I love pronouncing these. I always get it wrong. Well, not always, but often get it wrong. I try. Wisdom Power Technology. Let's see what's the back here. Green Gold Energy. Solar Energy Australia. I see coming up there. This is TW Solar. More solar. Solar Juice. Must be distributors. See lots of brands. When you see lots of brands, it's probably a distributor. Solus. Let's go to some of the smaller ones. Some of the smaller ones are fun too. Raja, Jiang, Green Rich on this side. Lots of lots of lots of stalls. Top lithium. Javier. Eureka, Amber, okay, we know Amber. Small stand here. And then Oyal. And yeah, okay, let's go around to the other side now. Okay, so I made my way back to the other side, just next to Energizer. Got these guys here, Virgin. And let's look in this corner here. Noak, Green Energy Group. I guess some of these are probably advocacy groups too. Mm, what have we got on this side? We've seen Cranich already, haven't we? Yep. Some more solutions there. LG, big player. Doing the usual, yes. Batteries, solar. I think they stopped doing solar panels. I thought I remember hearing that. You can remind me. Maybe they're into batteries now. One of these guys, clean energy. Yep. No storage solutions. Skill tester machine there. Electronic, did I see that? I might have to go back and have a look at that. In the middle there. Oh, I see Tesla. Have to look at that. Can't miss Tesla. JA Solar. Clipsol. Let's walk through this way. Right. Engineering Institute of Technology. HDM. Mac Fastener, Specialists, Topa Technology. Okay, we made our way back to the middle. All right, let's go check out the Tesla area. Okay, so this is rare, everyone. You rarely see Tesla actually have an official exhibition, official store, but here they are in the flesh, Tesla. A Tesla stand, Tesla logo, Tesla charger. Tesla Powell, Tesla People, people to chat to, your Tesla. I've been to other expos uh, where they've exhibited. It's always this wood that they've got here, so. It's uh, in check and on brand. And there we go. What else have they got here? Yep, more pictures. Yeah, okay. It's very much about the uh, storage, isn't it? 
I'm going to ask them when the solar roof's coming. That'll put them on the spot. Yeah, so there we go, right? Um, I guess a good place to stop, isn't it? A Tesla. Sorry. And uh, not a single vehicle. Isn't that interesting? Not a single vehicle today. I guess it's about smart energy. But the last time I went to a few years ago, they had a couple of vehicles here. I think Nissan was here, Hyundai was here, uh, Ace was here. So, you know, I guess they're very much focused on the storage and the and solar these days. Prime Vault, yeah, that's one I don't think I've seen yet, but PV storage. All right. And there's Delta here with more storage solutions. And BMW electric bike, most likely. Some more Delta EV chargers here. There's another one there. Just swing around. All right, everyone. This is Tom from Ludicrous Feed. You've been watching me go around uh, the Smart Energy Council Expo here in Sydney, Australia, at the ICC International Convention Centre. Thanks for watching. And until the next Ludicrous Feed video, happy charging. Wow! Look at all that solar. That's a big display, isn't it? Huge, huge display.